but it's actually starting to get cold while i was doing my skincare in the bathroom it felt cold i get cold easily and thankfully i have a heater in my room but yeah it's 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 coming down to that time <laughs> i have to be pulling out the warm lounge clothes so this is what i'm wearing right now i have on this um sweatshirt that my mom got for me and i'm wearing my um black sweatpants my bed slippers is around here somewhere um i need to get a new one let me show you guys what i've been working with these are my bed slippers <laughs> um yeah I should get a new pair because these ones they're soft but they're kind of they're kind of worn out and they're really like thin and floppy I bought these tights um, I actually got them about about two or three weeks ago I got them to try out to see how they would feel under my pants that I wear to work. I have these beige pants. They're not thin, but I wanted to like add an extra layer. So this is the black pair. I think this is the one size. And uh, these are actually pretty long. So, you know, I could pull this up a little bit more but yeah they feel really nice um you can wear these around the house if you want to mine actually come all the way up like above my belly button <laughs> this is the nude color i really like this one too they're really comfortable they're warm and yeah these <laughs> these are gonna be well needed for the cold season I also bought some other stuff from Shein. I was telling you guys that I wanted to add some plants to my space, you know, some decor items. And I just think that Shein offers a lot of those things for like, you know, cheaper prices. And I don't have to walk around all the stores. I mean, there are great things in stores here, but you know ordering them is a lot more convenient for me so i got some stuff and one of the things that i bought um came way earlier than i expected like these items should not be here until like another week or so or a week and a half one of the items from the order came in so I'm excited to see what it is. I have an idea. Let's go check it out together. So I've been wanting to get another comforter set for my bed. And I came across this one on Shein. This is from a company called Bedshore. And I'm excited to see what it's looking like. I feel like they made this box unnecessarily hard to open <laughs> like I was struggling so much to open this little box all right so this is the comforter set I got it in the color beige and I'm now actually seeing why it felt <laughs> so light because it's compressed thank you for joining the bedshore family and there's also a brochure here i got the queen size which has one comforter and two pillowcases so this is the comforter it's expanding but this feels really nice um it feels like good quality it feels really good it doesn't have a smell or anything these are the pillow shams i really like these type of pillowcases over the 
the ones that have the open end and these look like they will definitely fit um my pillows perfectly but i'm gonna go throw all of that in the washer and dryer it's currently after 11 and normally at this time i'm torn between making actual breakfast you know like a standard breakfast egg bread whatever well i don't have any bread i do have pancake mix you could make some pancakes or just like um cooking dinner at this point and then i would eat like multiple times just a regular day just a regular day in my life you know just living life just keeping it real this is it this is it guys <laughs> so if you're new to my channel welcome to life this is it this is it So I wanted to pause work for a little while and tell you guys about this conference that I went to last night. Um, it was at a church that I've been visiting for, like, I've, I've gone there two times now. And it's been really good. You know, everybody has been really nice. And the atmosphere reminds me of um, a church that I used to visit when I was in Jamaica um, with one of my friends. And it has just been really good. Like, I've been feeling really positive about you know like attending this church like i would continue to go and the scripture that the speaker spoke from last night was from isaiah chapter 61 and it was just such a powerful word it was just really something that every believer you know needs at some point the title of the conference was arise um from the ashes or from the ashes arise <laughs> either way that was the whole essence of the conference i was actually reading isaiah chapter 61 this morning and i just wanted to read a portion of scripture that um just really blessed me last night into today i was just lying in bed reading um a few chapters from isaiah isaiah chapter 61 i'll read from the start and it says the spirit of the lord god is upon me because the lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek he hath sent me to bind up the broken heart 
to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Verse 7 says, For your shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore in their land they shall possess the double, everlasting joy will be unto them. It's really such a comforting word, to be honest, like, being here in this new country, having all these new experiences, particularly the negative experiences, I've just really come face to face with my own ashes. Being reminded that God wants to give us beauty in return for that. And it was so funny listening to this word because like just last week, I would have spoken on this same topic about how God can use our past, how he takes our brokenness, our our ashes, our nothingness and like makes something of it. And so it just really felt like confirmation for me that there is something, there is so much more that God wants to do with the things that I have written off in my own life. God can really restore, that like he can really do a lot with the things like even the things that we don't want to have anything to do with situations that we we just want to forget about we try so hard to just not even think about it like we would want the memory and all the effects of these ashes situations to just vanish from our lives but like god wants to use that like he wants to prove something to us like you know, I didn't waste that. All of that was not in vain. I feel like that is what God really wants to remind his people of, that the things that you go through, even though you want to forget, and even though, you know, it's in the past and it hurt, God wants to prove to us that it wasn't in vain. Like you didn't cry in vain. You didn't mourn in vain. The ashes is still not a waste. It's just so powerful. Beauty is interpreted as a crown. It, it, it represents victory. It represents authority. Even though it's literally beautiful, it's much more than a crown. Like, it's not just outward beauty. It's just it's so much more. It's restoration. It's, it's restitution. It's, it's everything. And I was just really blessed and I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm, I'm just feeling really filled with hope after last night. And just, you know, what God has been doing in my life for the past few days. Really teaching me a lot about... Really been teaching me a lot about um, restoration and it's it's painful it's not easy it's it's gut-wrenching but it's necessary otherwise we'll just be stuck in the same place and that's not good that's not good so yeah I know you probably want to be stuck in the same place. <laughs> you probably don't see anything wrong with that. You probably feel like being stuck in the same place don't really seem too bad because, you know, growing is hard. You know, growing is, is hard. It's like that wisdom teeth that needs to come out. You know, that has served its purpose. I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> I'll just... 
I'll just leave it at the word. <laughs> Cause that, I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> hey friends, I am getting ready for church. Actually running a bit late, but wanted to show you guys my outfit. And I'm also trying to decide how I want to wear my hair. I think I'm gonna go for a little messy bun of some sort happy sunday i hope you guys are doing well uh yesterday i just had dinner and just took a shower <laughs> and went to bed i was watching my comforter or monitoring my comforter in the dryer that thing like took forever to dry this is my outfit guys i'm wearing a blue jeans and a white tee and i'm gonna bring a sweater i have a few more minutes before i get picked up so i'm gonna try and see if i can make my bed i just took the comforter out of the dryer and i told myself whether it's fully dry or not <laughs> i already put it on two dry cycles I love how it turned out. I love how the comforter looks on top. I folded down that top section so it'll be easier to get into bed when I'm ready. It comes down evenly on both sides. Here at the front, it's a little bit short, but that's totally fine. I just top the, the top sheet underneath so it looks a little bit more tidy. But yeah, this is how it's looking. I really love how it looks. Getting excited about bedding, is that like a sign that you're getting old or, you know, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think because I, I, I'm excited about a comforter, so. <laughs> got back from work today was um <laughs> just like a student day this is what i wore hoodie um sweatpants um some shoes um my hungry my hungry people my hungry bad 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 i have some chicken thawing but i'm gonna go and buy something to eat the eat out budget done guys the eat out budget done but me no business right now me hungry i'm telling you i'm hungry me hungry we are going to jersey mike's i've been there twice now and probably mark my face. But that's where we're going right now. I'm gonna put on my Crocs. I'm gonna go buy some eat. I can't wait, I'm sorry, I'm hungry. I need a bigger hoodie for this type of weather. <laughs> 
it's starting to get really cold guys like when i'm at work and i have to stand at the door and hold it open for the students i want to tell them to hurry up <laughs> it's not unbearable and i know i get cold easily so there's that but yeah i don't really love the cold um but yeah i'm really enjoying my my comforter <laughs> to the point where it's hard to get out of bed um, in the mornings because it's like bed just warm and nice look left look right look up look down your boyfriend downtown your boyfriend downtown your boyfriend downtown your boyfriend downtown oh by the way so the knitting project that you guys saw on my thumbnail or the you know the the the, the feature of the the crochet not knitting the crochet that's not the one that i'm going to be working on um i have a co-worker that's actually going to be teaching me how to crochet and i'm so excited she gave me yarn and she's gonna bring the crochet needle to work tomorrow so um i'm excited about that so we're just gonna pretend that that was what we were gonna do <laughs> because there's no way absolutely no way i would be able to do that but she told me she told me to save which is what i was planning on doing initially but she told me to save the the yarn in the box or save those projects in the box oh it's so cool oh my gosh guys my breeze just blew past me a while ago i'm gonna just ignore or just gonna pretend that you know um that's what's in the video but that's not what's going to be in the video i will definitely save those projects until after I do, you know, some beginner lessons on um, on crocheting. Out across the street. Not gonna talk to you guys because I already can't cross the road, so I don't want to distract myself. Yeah. Are you Hi. going to school here? I'm, I'm a teacher actually. You're too young to be a teacher? Yes. Oh my gosh, she's huge. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. What's her name? Uh, her name's Emma. Nice to meet you, Emma. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, Emma. Bye. Everybody. Hey guys. Ooh, ooh. Guess who's about to add football player to their resume? That's right, me. Okay? Me. I play football today, guys, for the first time. Yes, it was so fun. So we had homecoming games today at our school. And we had our seniors and sophomores play against the freshmen and juniors. And then um, the winners played the teachers. And the teachers won, of course. Okay, let's just make that clear. <laughs> we won. It was so fun. Like, I was so nervous because I don't know nothing about football. I don't know nothing about sports. I'm going to play sports. Yeah, them something that we know for run, right? Reflex um, in our blood, right? So, <laughs> we know about like running, but it was so fun. It was such a great experience. And, you know just playing with other teachers so it was an all-female team and then like both student teams were females as well 
and it was just really nice it was just really good i am tired but i'm actually feeling so good like i'm tired but it's a good kind of tired it's not like a oh um i'm so burnt out and frustrated kind of tired it's like a healthy you know i'm tired i think it's the exercise you know that i got as a as a consequence of, <laughs> of playing and yeah so right about now i'm i'm gonna take a shower i'm going to get something to eat i'm not sure yet what i can't go and buy food again <laughs> so we're gonna cook tonight i also have some schoolwork to do <sighs> darn it man gosh darn it <laughs> Not the weed whacker, just as I'm about to film. I hope you guys can hear me. <laughs> hey guys, um, so it's a new day. I'm about to run to the Dollar Tree. I have a few items that I want to get for a bedroom decor video that I plan on sharing with you guys. So I'm gonna run and get those items. I'm gonna finish up that video. I did so many new things this week. Like I played football for the first time. Yesterday we had, you know, our first homecoming dance for the students and it was just so nice. They had fun. That was definitely a new experience for me. We are about to head out. And we're gonna see what we can find. Or we're gonna see if we can find the things that I need. Good morning, friends. It's the next day. I got so excited yesterday after I got back from the Dollar Tree giving the the haul. <laughs> I hadn't eaten all day and after I ate, I had a little case of the ethnic fatigue. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was just out for the rest of the day. But I wanted to show you guys my progress with my crocheting um all that i've learned i have been working very hard on learning um how to do the basics and yeah i want to share all of that with you guys in addition to the stuff that i bought for decor from dollar tree i came across this yarn um it's from premiere it's one pound and this is in weight so this is the medium weight i think that's i think that's how you say it um number four and this was only like five dollars a skin so um this is gonna be very good <laughs> for me i don't have the correct needles to actually use this yarn as yet so i'm gonna put these aside i'm gonna save them for when I get the needles and I can start working on a project. I have an idea of something that I want to do and I know it's gonna be challenging but it's also gonna be so fun because yeah I like starting new projects and just like working on stuff seeing how it turns out. I ordered this um, crochet for beginners kit on Amazon. It came with different size needles, there were stitch markers, um, measuring tape, all of the little basic things. So these are my projects so far. This is <laughs> my very first project after about five or six tries. This is what I had come up with. Um, I'm really proud of it. <laughs> these are single crochets so um i made a few rows of single crochets for this one and then this is what i've been working on throughout the week so this is a mixture of single crochets and then um towards the top here i had started doing some half double crochets um and then i did half double crochets all around the edges or half double stitches guys i might like say something wrong <laughs> um as i'm learning so yeah but basically this is 
what I did. I'm so proud of it. Um, I think it came out great. Nice and flat and neat, which is what I wanted. So, yeah. In the crochet kit that I bought, they gave me this needle or this hook. Um, there are no measurements on it. I used it for this one and then the lady at work when she was teaching me she actually lent me this one so this is the 3.75 millimeter hook and it worked well with this yarn when I get my needles I will have different sizes to work with so to start you make a slip knot and then you're going to make a chain so you make the slip knot you kind of tighten it on the hook to make a chain do something called a yarn over so that's where you kind of hold the hook like this and then you bring it under and then over like this pull it through like that so yarn over pull it through yarn over uh, pull it through yarn over pull it through yarn over pull it through and then depending on the length or depending on the size of the project that you're working on you would do this as many times as you need to if you're making something that needs to be super long after you take the measurements you would need to um, do that many chains that corresponds with the length of your project or the size of your project so this is what um, your first chain would look like basically a combination of little V's after I learned this like I started to feel pretty confident in myself to make sweaters and blankets <laughs> but yeah just if you're learning just let me you know just take your time um, one of the hardest things for me is learning how to hold the yarn so I've I've held the yarn in so many different ways um, it kind of got a bit frustrating at one point because it kind of matters how you hold the yarn especially when you're just starting out or you're just making um, those first few chains so yeah I'm still learning like the best way to hold the yarn no matter what I try it always ends up like getting too loose like I'll end up with too many um, or like this part being super loose and then you know I can't control it so if you guys have any tips <laughs> um, I'd be happy to hear but for now I just kind of hold the yarn in a way where I keep the tension here and then yeah just continue I'll do a mixture of different techniques but yeah at the end of the day it really just depends on what's most comfortable for you okay so after you make your first chain you're going to um, start off or continue with the stitch that you want to make so I have been learning how to do single crochets and half double crochets so for the single crochet you just insert and then you have two loops on your hook and then you yarn over pull it through yarn over and then pull it through both loops so for the single crochet you would end up on you would end up with two loops um, you'd end up with sorry one loop on your hook instead of two and then you'd have two loops right there so you'd continue you insert it not in this hole right here the next one so you push it through yarn over um, yarn over again and then 
pull it through both loops um, and then you just repeat until you get to the end so you push it through yarn over pull it through yarn over again and then pull it through so you just keep doing that until you get to the end okay so this is something else I've learned when you get to that last um stitch at the end or that last hole at the end you just basically do the same thing push it through yarn over yarn over again and then pull it through those two hoops so now you're basically at the end of your chain so to to flip the flip your work to bring it on to the other side or to go in the other direction you'd make a chain like that and then you turn turn your work as the pros say it <laughs> okay so now i'm going to show you guys how to make the the half double crochet which is the other stitch that i've been learning so to make the half double crochet, you yarn over, push it through that hole right there, or the nearest, the nearest one. Okay. And then you yarn over, pull it through. So you should have three loops on your hook. And then you yarn over and then pull it through um, all three loops so again you yarn over push it through what so basically what you're pushing it through is that V right here so you have one here and then another one here so you're gonna push it through um, this one right here just make sure I'm doing the right thing okay all right so after you do that you yarn over pull it through again you have those three loops on your hook yarn over again and then you pull it through all three loops so yarn over Push it through, yarn over, three loops, yarn over, and then you pull it through all three loops. If you make a mistake, the great thing about crochet is that you can always just undo it and just start again. So that's what I'm gonna do because I made a mistake. Basically, what you'll start to see is another type of stitch on top of what you made before. So you would just continue until your project is finished, you know, using whatever um, measurements and all of that that you have until you until you get to the finished product when you get to that last bit just kind of pull on that last stitch so you can see the opening properly um, you don't want to miss that last stitch because it might throw off your project and you might not end up with like a straight edge you're just gonna repeat um, the previous steps yarn over and then pull it through so this is what you should have when you're finished 
and then if you want to turn it again you just do the same thing you make a chain like that and then this time I'm gonna show you guys if I can remember I'm gonna show you guys how I made the double crochet so you made one chain you're gonna go ahead and make another so the more chains you make the taller the stitch is going to be all right so you can go ahead and turn your work and then for this one you are going to start um, inserting the hook through I think the second one so not this one right here like this one so you yarn over um, insert through that second V yarn over again pull it through yarn over pull through um, two <laughs> and then yarn over and then pull through those last two I think that's how you do it so let me try it again to see if it if it actually is the right way okay so yarn over push it through that second V yarn over pull it through yarn over pull through two loops so not all of them yarn over and then you pull through those other two so yeah i think that is what you do to achieve the double crochet so i'm gonna do it again yarn over not this one right here the next one push it through yarn over yarn over again pull it through the first two yarn over again and then you pull it through the last two so i'm gonna do it to the end And when you get to the end it's basically just the same thing you try to get it through those last um, two loops or that last V again um, if you make the stitches too tight or it's gonna be hard depending on how tight you make the stitches so I'd recommend just using less tension towards the end just so it's easier <laughs> to um, get it through that last stitch and then you're at the end and then you'd make a chain and just continue the process for me I'm just gonna stop right here you basically pull it through like this and then you would cut here and after you cut you just um, tighten that string and then weave it through your project so yeah guys it's looking great <laughs> this is what this is what I've been learning I can't wait to share all the great projects that I'm gonna be working on <laughs> with you guys and just learning more you know different types of stitches learning i actually want to learn the triple crochet as well i think that one is like that's probably next on the list but yeah guys i'm having a lot of fun just learning this if you want to start trust me it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it the hardest part for me as i've been saying is just like learning how to hold the yarn while i'm you know doing that but yeah guys i really hope you would have enjoyed this vlog thank you guys so so much for watching thank you for always liking my videos commenting it's so much encouragement for me and yeah i will see you soon in my next video which should be how i 
redecorated my space particularly my bedroom and my bathroom with stuff that I got from Sheen and the Dollar Tree so definitely keep an eye open for that vlog make sure your post notifications make sure your post notifications are turned on and yeah I will see you guys in the next vlog bye